Hi, I'm Shana Lindsay. I'm Beth Harris. Okay, we're here to talk about this image. It's called Untitled Film Still Number 14. It does look like a film still. It does. And uh, there are certain things that give it that look, which is what she's going for. Here. So it's not really a film still. Right, exactly. It's the uh, appearance that this is a film And she still. did a whole series of film stills. Right. Photographs that look like film stills. Over a number of years. This is sort of at the beginning of that phase when she does that. So this is one of the earlier ones. And she wants all of them to look like they might be from some sort of a narrative. This is Cindy Sherman herself. Right. That's the thing that a lot of people don't recognize, um, that this is she's in the photograph herself. She always dresses up and really kind of morphs, you know, from one... She can really look really different in each of them. Exactly. She dresses up, obviously. Makeup helps. In this case, she's trying to look like she's in a 1960s, probably. And it makes me aware of the conventions of how things look in movies, you know the sort of rhetoric of that kind of storytelling. Exactly. The lighting, you know, she's... she's uh, you know, just the way she moves her head, the, the look in her eye. Right. In almost all of these film stills, she looks reactive. She's reacting to something. Right. Which is part of what's giving us this clue that we're looking at something that's supposed to be narrative. So she's darting her eyes away. It's hard to say what people often read it in different ways, you know, disgust, fear, anxiety. Mm -hmm. She's never a totally self-possessed person. Mm -hmm. She's always in relation to something that's like somehow outside of our frame of reference here. Mm -hmm. I wonder what that says about being a woman. Right, exactly. And I think that's sort of what she's, you know, uh, some of the issue that she's trying to raise here, that um, perhaps our sense of self is contingent always mm -hmm. on something else. Mm -hmm. Women's sense of self mm -hmm. is always contingent on something. And that being a woman is always in some way a performance. Yes, that's oftentimes the way these are understood, that she's kind of masquerading, you know, mm -hmm. uh, donning these different um, outfits. And some people see this as, as kind of liberating, that what she does is she, in some ways, dislodges the idea that your identity is fixed, um, you know, that... And it can be chosen mm -hmm. instead. Right, so by masquerading, you're sort of choosing to act in a certain way or choosing to make herself read or understood in a certain way. Mm -hmm. So some people see her film cells as, as liberating, you know, mm -hmm. examples. For women. For women, is, yeah. yes, in particular. Yeah, right. So you're not, um, your identity isn't something that's culturally imposed, but something that's freely chosen somehow. Freely chosen, but then also what's ironic is that she keeps... You know, in the series, she chooses these ultra-feminine -fem right. you know, roles. And, and very stereotypical, mm -hmm. in a way. And because they are reacting, they seem slightly fragile. So it's, it, it plays on both things. But I think she wants to, you know, borrow the idiom from film, you know, mm -hmm. that, that was established by people like Alfred Hitchcock, mm -hmm. you know, the blonde victim, you know, right. to some degree. There, so something about to swoop down on her. And right. Me... And nothing ever does. You no. Know? And, and it becomes also sort of about her practice, about Cindy Sherman's practice, as, you know, more so certainly than the narrative, which here does not exist. You know, there is no story They to never develop into a story. Right, exactly. Um, I mean, the things that are, you know, that she's chosen photographically here, the upward focus, you right. know, you're very... You're at a very privileged perspective on this person, very, right. very close. So you right. know this couldn't be a snapshot. It would right. be very hard to get a snapshot like that. By just angling, positioning the camera, she's edited out anything that looks contemporary. So she's able to put herself in front of these older buildings and have it look like you know, it's authentic. from 20 years earlier. Right, which are all things that, of course, a filmmaker is doing. Mm -hmm.